So Terry is back for a brand new series of Wogan's Perfect Recall at five after the banker is on guard here on four. Great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. A brand new week, and uh, all last week I was complimenting these people. They are incredibly brave at the moment. But I just want to remind you about something called a lifeline. Because I think Deborah got the lifeline yesterday. We had this extraordinary bit at the beginning where she didn't get a financial offer uh, to start with. She got the chance to swap the box, and box number five went away over there. And towards the end of the game, which was not going well, she was offered £1,500. And then the banker said, look, I think you're a plucky lady, and what I'd like uh, to suggest is if you'd be prepared to go and open box five, as long as it's not the £15,000, I will give you a very good offer. And as it turned out, she, uh, she went for it, and the offer was £3,000. She was down to three blues. Really, that £3,000 was a lifeline. In the end, she went away with a tenner. So uh, it was not good news. Spot the lifeline. Spot the moment to leave the game. Here come the names. Yes, please, be brave, but also be wise. Pauline. Yeah! <laughs> Pauline, please take the walk of wealth. been dreaming about wow. this game. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do please take a seat, Pauline, and tell me all about your husband. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline Ellington Daly, originally from Jamaica, now lives in Enfield, teaches fashion in a college and teaches children with special needs computing and numeracy skills. Tell me all about that. Yeah, I came here in 1988 to improve my skills and I went to London College of Fashion for about five years and one of the teachers there saw that I had potential so she encourages me to go on to do I told her I used to teach back in the West Indies and she said well you could do you know a refresher teaching course and continue to teach fashion so I did that and I got a job and whilst I was there I got interested in kids with learning difficulties so I continue teaching my fashion and then I teach um, numeracy and IT. And sometimes you're so pleased with the work the students do that you burst into tears. I do. We do these fashion shows at the end of the year and some of the students do bridal wear and you'll find occasionally where a student might be sewing a bridal dress for themselves or a relative and once you look at the finishing work and how beautiful it is, I just burst into tears. Oh. Yes. I'm a, you know, I'm softy. 
What exactly is that? Ah, well, my mother-in-law, I think she gets her son to marry me just because I can so. One of the times she bought me this material and she said, would you make me something? I said, but what am I going to make with you from this fabric now, mommy? And I'm a sucker for Noel Edmonds. <laughs> Can I say that on telly? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> My husband said to me, you know what? Let's <laughs> talk about your husband yeah. more. <laughs> he said, since you dribble at that telly so much, why don't you go on the show? Then I'll meet my, you know. <laughs> so I, I know what your husband calls me. Yeah, my fancy man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, your fancy man is on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did... <laughs> I took the material out and I start making this shirt. And then my poor little husband thought it was being made for him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dreading this game. I've been dreading it. Keep going, woman. And then he said, am I going to try it on? I said, no, you're not. So I said, what? I said, it's for Noel. He said, for Noel? I said, Noel. So here is it. Pauline, we've got a game to play here. Have this, we? It's, it's very nice to see the shirt. Yeah. It's lovely. Um, are you happy to get on with it? <laughs> <laughs> the game. The game. Are the you game. Happy, the game. Are the you game. Happy, the, the this game. game. Yeah. This game. Are you happy to get on with this game? Yes. Yeah, great. OK. I need you, please, uh, to confirm that you chose box number eight at random before the game began. Yes, I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Shall we get on with this now? I, we should. Pauline, good luck! <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to get distracted now, am I? No. No, don't get distracted. Just no. concentrate on the boxes. Box number three, please. Why? Des. Why? I'm nothing, you know. I'm just going to go spontaneously Are as you? I go, yeah. You're random, Des. Yeah. Welcome. Pauline. Away you go. Hope this is uh, a nice start for you. Go your show. I do hope so. Yeah! yeah. That's a perfect start. Wow. Box number nine. Misha? How are you today? I'm all right, thanks, Noel. Splendid. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Hey, there's a contrast. Wow, yeah. 1p to 75,000. Hmm. That's not nice. <laughs> I'd rather to see what's in Pat's box than not to know. So, Pat, I'm going to go straight in. Oh, we're going straight in with you. Straight in. Good luck. Flipping Laura. Oh. Oh, well. This is extraordinary. Last yeah. week, it kept popping out in the opening round, and it's done it again. And last week, it was followed by its mate, the 100,000. Oh, wow. Well. One to go. Box number 15, game. Okay. Gail, complete the round, please. It's a blue Pauline. I know it. I'm going to miss you. Yeah! Wow. I've sent the bank around some Jamaican drink. 
Okay. I need to keep him calm and cool. Is this rum? Yes, Jamaican rum. Straight from the banker. I think he might have had a sip there now. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he did? No. Belch. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> so the rum's arrived, does it? <laughs> Big bottle of rum. <laughs> Oh, he says, thank you very much indeed, Pauline. This is welcome. Yes, what about me? Yeah, she's a man-eater. I'm barely a bite, really. <laughs> We're going to get a first, are we? Pauline's about to enter the Hall of Fame. Oh, you're going to be the first person ever to deal at the first offer. Ah, because, yes, obviously, you know what the offer is. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I told you what the offer is, yes? I'm disappointed, then. Apparently, no money. The opening offer is my phone number. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. He'll ring back in a moment and be sensible. Mm. Oh, dear. Ah, here we are. <laughs> and hopefully a... A proper, <laughs> correct suggestion of value for the box at this stage. Oh. Oh. All oh, right. For once, the banker and I have something in common. <laughs> we are both concerned at the thought that you are going to go all the way, Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> and the offer is £5,000. <laughs> And when you consider that you took out the quarter of a million and the 75,000, OK, it was balanced by the 1p, but £5,000 is a very robust opening offer. It's not just it's a robust offer, it's a good... It's big money for me. Exactly. It's so big 5, money for me. It's big money for me. Very nice. You can ask me a question. Pauline. <laughs> wow. Pauline, £5,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Thank you. For... Daniel, box number 16. Pauline, I hope this is a blue for you. Oh, no! 50 grand now. Box number 10. All right, Dot? Yes? You've been on the brandies last night? Yes. <laughs> How many last night, Dot? Four. Four brandies? <laughs> Can you think straight today? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm the only one that never has a hangover. <laughs> and what do you put that down to, Dot? Drinking. <laughs> Well, could you open one of those two boxes you're leaning on? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Honestly. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, yeah. red, blue, red. That's all you do. Oh, well. Gina, box number one. Well, I'll hold it right there. Oh, it's time for a break. It's time for a break. Oh, flipping, no. Would you... Oh, no, would I can't you, say those things. <laughs> would you like to encourage the nation to return to your game, wow. Pauline? I'm sure no one sitting at home wants to miss this game. So would you please just grab a cup of tea, come back and see what Pauline's up to? Home of great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal.
Gaming.com, home of great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. Welcome back. This, this is Pauline Ellington Daly. And so far, she's having appalling game. But we hope it's going to get a lot better. You need a blue. Yeah, I do. Gina, up on the box, and mommy. All right, good luck. I'm going to miss you. Like my second mother. overheard a conversation you were having. Yes. What? Were you really asked whether or not if I asked you, you'd run away with me <laughs> and leave your husband? <laughs> Did you actually... Go on, what was her answer? Apparently, your response to that question was to say, I'd leave in the clothes I'm wearing and I wouldn't even <laughs> go back for my best shoes. <laughs> Thousand went, but two blues balanced it. He's going to yeah. stick at five thousand pounds. <laughs> five thousand for a second time. Good money. Very, very good money. Sorry, you want it now. But I still have a good board, don't I? Five thousand pounds is still on the board. Yes. Yeah. So it's a hundred thousand. Yes. So it's 10p? Yes. And I don't want 10p. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. You know what? My dad died in 1996, and I've got a half brother, his child, not my mom's child. And um, he had suffered from depression when his mother died, and he had a stroke. And he was only 44 when he had the stroke. I took on the responsibility to sort of make sure that he gets the best doctor care. I've got to get you more than five thousand pounds. Yes, I would like more than five thousand pounds. Right. So you can ask me the question, please, Mary. Five thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Lois, box number four. Come on, Lois, let's have an all blue round. Good luck. Or flip it all around. Oh, dear, Lois. Oh, that's oh, four. 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 All right, well, let, let's look on the bright side that uh, you've got an astonishing block of reds there. So, OK, the mega money has gone, but there's still 35,000, 20,000, 15,000, all good money. Yep. But you do need two blues. Box number six. Where's Matt? Come on, Matt. It's, uh, it's interesting. Very interesting configuration. The only reds that she's actually discovered are the top Maybe. four. Give us a blue. Best of luck. Well, I wish I'd said that now. Just had a nibble at the smaller end. Three grand. Box number 19. Please, Olivia. Good luck, Pauline. Thank you. It's just not going to be the same anymore. Oh, oh no. Obsessed with reds. Yes. Wow. What a round. Still got a 35,000. Hello. 
No, I'm not going to throw him a fish. That's Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've made him happy. All I red know. round and taking the 100,000. I don't want... And I, I hope you stop drinking that thing. <laughs> Have you stopped drinking that thing? <sighs> he's actually saying how pleased he is that he hasn't touched the rum. Oh, wow. Because he's got all his faculties <laughs> that will allow him to enjoy your disaster. disaster. All right. £750. Wow. Ooh, deep groans. Deep, deep groans. Has that made it easier? Not really. No? No. Well, let's not forget, £750. No. Tax-free? It's tax-free and it's on the board. It's on the board as well. Yeah. Pauline, you're a really positive person. Stand up and say, right, I'm going to win that yes. big money. Do that. Yes, I'm going to win that big money. Good girl. Yeah. I'm ready for the question now. £750, deal or no deal? Thank you very, very much, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Thank you. Come on. Goodness sake, Callum, show more enthusiasm. <laughs> Box number 12. Simon. Come on, Simon, a blue, please. 10p or 50p, that'll be fine. Good luck, Pauline. You're a, you're a wonderful lady. No, uh, your husband's a very lucky man. <laughs> wow. Oh, ten grand. Now it's getting very dicey. Box number 14, Callum. Wish you all the best, and I'm hoping it's a blue for you. Yeah, come on, Callum. There's still 35,000. Yeah! going to take a break now. Good? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, should you say something or should I say something? And then I came up with a better idea. There's only one person <laughs> better equipped to whip up the enthusiasm <laughs> and encourage everybody to come back. <laughs> it's Callum. Callum, <laughs> tell the nation why they should return. Why, why, why you should come back after the break because Pauline's game is going to be very, 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 very exciting. <laughs> Home of great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. King.com. Home of great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. This is Pauline. Welcome back to Pauline's Game. Yes, this is Pauline. Well, she doesn't swear, by the way. No, Even I though don't. this is going wrong. Uh, well, it has gone wrong, but it's going to get better. Uh, you never swear, do you? No. Uh, you always say, oh, my nose. My nose. <laughs> she always goes, my nose. <laughs> At her sister's wedding, <laughs> when the bouquet was hurled in the air, you know the way they do, she dived for it <laughs> and she hurt her nose. <laughs> wow. Oh, my nose. What's yeah. going on here? Yeah. I'm going to go with box number 13. You want 13? Steph? Come on, even things up. Four aside, okay. please. Hope it's a blue for you. Yeah! Yeah! That's that 750 you didn't want. Oh, <laughs> and that's spooky. That was the 750 so you declined, and it's out of the game. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Here he comes again. Hello? Yes, she doesn't use a swear word. She just says, oh, my nose. Yep. He says the 10,000 going from the board is quite significant. I know. Mm. He says it's a nose good offer. <laughs> and for no sake, take two and a half grand. Wow. Two and a half thousand. Very good offer. You, when you, you look at where you've been, you started at five, you got five again, dropped back to 750, and now two and a half. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Well, 
When it gets to this point, it's dodgy anyway. When you get to here, where it's 50-50... Yes, yes. Uh, you've got to consider that in the next three boxes, you could take out 5, 20 and 35. Yes. You would be incredibly unlucky to do that, it has to be said, but it's possible. Pauline, Lola's just said there you'd be incredibly unlucky to take out the 5, the 20 and the 35. We're actually the opposite way around as well. You'd be incredibly lucky to take out the 10, the 50 and the 5 pound as well. So I think it's a really good offer for what's on the board, I think. But if you're feeling lucky, it's up to you. Are you there? Yeah. Two and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you, Mr. Banker, but no deal. Cyril, box number seven, please. Cyril, I think this is the round. We say every game has a pivotal round. Yeah. It feels like this is it. Cyril. I hope it's a blue for you, Pauline. Best of luck. Yeah! Best way to start. <laughs> Great start, Gary. Come on, Gary. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> you can't start any better than that. Wow. Box number 20. Ardev. Ardev. It's looking good at the moment. Pauline, you've been great fun as a neighbour. Best of luck. Keep it going. Yeah! yeah. Doing it in order. <laughs> I know. Box you would be eight. incredibly unlucky, I said, to do 5, 20 and 35. Simon pointed out you'd be incredibly lucky to do the blues. And that's exactly what you're doing. Is it Ella? Ella. Ella, five pounds, please. So hope it's five pounds. Yeah! Let's concentrate on the game. Yes, I am. <laughs> to have a five box where you've only got one blue is always good news. And let's face it now, 20,000 and 35,000 are looking good. Actually, that wasn't just a U-turn. That was a transformation in your fortunes. An all blue round and look at that transformation. Well, I think because of the past history, he ain't going to go leaping around because he thinks this one's coming back to him in a moment. But for oh, now, your box eight has climbed to the highest value of the game. Wow. £7,000. That's so Pauline, it's a very good offer, that. It's made it into a one-box game. That 35 goals. Even if you have the 20 left, it's not gonna be any, it's gonna not gonna be much more than seven anyway. Paulie, there's only one blue there. So there's a chance you've got a red in that box. Yeah. If you take the top two out, you still got you still could get that five grand. Not a bit, and there's yeah, quite a lot of difference yeah. five and as seven. As long as it's not the one thousand that's in there that's or the right. five pounds. So it depends. Yeah. You know, would you be prepared to go until you've got the five in your box? It's a gamble. Yeah. It's a big one. It's a big one. Mm. Mm. But would I regret it? Pauline. I would, I've said. I'm not very good at reading the board, but if you take out the three highest ones there, are you going to be happy going home with either of those? No. I don't want to see you go home with that. No. Come on, Gail. Personally, I think it's worth the risk. You think? But be very unlucky to take the third, top three, even the five grand. And if you've got ask me a question, please, Noah. Seven thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Um, no deal.
lot of people here felt it was worth the gamble. Gail certainly thought it was worth the gamble. Quite a few people, however, felt 7,000 would have been a very good result. And I think so as well. Yes, I'm just hoping you haven't thrown the lifeline away, the lifeline I mentioned at the top of the show. Box number 21. Here we go. The ideal scenario is 5,000, 1,000, and five pounds. The next case scenario is we keep the 35, but we lose the 20. Disaster is both of them going. Dan, put your hand on the box and pull the seal for me, please. Hold the lid, Dan. Up, Dan. That's OK. Right. It's going to only one gasp. That's got to go. Come on. Come on. Come on, you've turned this game around. The last round was sensational. Believe. Believe you can do it again. 11, 17 or 22? Irene, box number 22. OK, Irene, I want you to do the same thing. Put your arm on the box and pull that seal. We want to keep those top two, we really do. Irene, lift it. It's a blue, got to be. Oh. It's the top of the game. Top of the game has gone. 35,000 is out. Everything on this box. Are you going left or are you going right? Box number 17. Mark, she's decided to go right, and we know what we do not want to see. Mark, please, open box 17. Oh, that's boy. Oh! Oh! What a round. What a disastrous round. It really did seem as if the gamble was worth it. And it wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, so sorry. Hello. Oh, you made someone happy. What a round! He said he was uh, not surprised that you were prepared to take the gamble because he suddenly looked at the board again and thought to himself, my, my, the only way this is going to work for me is if uh, she has the worst possible round. And what are the chances of that? And then you did. And you made him very happy. I think he was full of relief. £250. That's the value of the box now. 250 Wow. Excellent question. £250. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Bank. No deal, she said. <laughs> Hello. You want her to calm herself when she answers this question? Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry for this. It's, uh, I would say this comment is inappropriate, but I'm duty-bound to pass it on. He is uh, wishing to offer you the swap. The swap, however, involves the boxes and not myself and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I know which I would take. <laughs> Pauline, wow. swap or no swap? Um, no swap. No swap? OK. <laughs> I hope it is £1,000. Did you bring to the table a grand? Yeah. Nick, it's a long time to wait when you're a newbie. We've kept you to the very end. Will you please conclude Pauline's game? Five pounds.
whole, a whole, a whole, um, I don't know what to say. You're going away with a thousand pounds. How do you feel about your game? I'm very disappointed. However, a thousand pounds is a lot of money for me. Just clear up my overdraft, you know. And um, it was a pleasure meeting you. Well, Pauline, thank you very much. And it was indeed a very great pleasure meeting you. Yes. We've had a good laugh on the way. Yes. I wish it had been a lot more money. I do. But I, do I applaud myself. you for your attitude towards the money, and I'm so pleased a thousand pounds is yes, going to help. I am. Yes, it, it will help. Pauline? If I get my overdraft. Pauline, a thousand pounds. Enjoy the money. Oh, now that's interesting. Yesterday, there was a £3,000 lifeline. And today, there was a £7,000 lifeline. I hope these guys are following these games really closely. The banker might not throw any more lifelines. See you tomorrow. Coming up, time to remember that it's Wogan's Perfect Recall, a new series. Home of great games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal.